Hi, Bill Hammond here with the Elder Law Question of the Week. How do you qualify a married couple for Medicaid? Well, if you have a married couple and one of them needs nursing care, but the other is at home, they go through a process we call division of assets. What happens is the state says, first of all, the one who needs care is what we call the institutionalized spouse, and the one who's at home is the community spouse. Now, the community spouse is allowed to keep a certain amount of assets, and the uh, spouse who needs care, the institutionalized spouse, is going to spend his or her side down until it goes below $1,000 in Missouri or $2,000 in Kansas. So you start out and the state says certain things are exempt, a house and a car, a prepaid funeral plan, a little bit of life insurance and household goods, and then you divide those assets. So you'd put half on the side of the one who needs care and spend that down, and half on the side of the one who is at home. Now, the one who's at home gets to keep a maximum of approximately $119,000. So if the couple had $300,000, you wouldn't just divide it. You'd keep $119,000 on the side of the one who's at home, but then the rest of it would have to either be spent down or dealt with in some way in order to qualify that spouse for Medicaid. So thanks for asking these great questions. As always, if you have any questions, be sure and send us an email and then we'll get your questions answered. Now, go have a great day. Thank you.